Okay. So the find element and find elements, both methods are return type methods. Find element will return one web element type. So the return type of this method is web element interface. So here is the one. So yeah, I'm writing again syntax also here. So web element return type data type element name equal to driver is the browser reference dot find element by dot locator locator value. So that means this method return type you are writing web element interface. So web element is an interface. It is a data type for web elements in Selenium. So find element always returns web element type element. So web element sign in link equal to driver dot find element by dot see link text sign in because it's a link. That's why I'm using locator link text locator. So I can identify search button with a class name locator. What is mean by class name? You can you cannot find a class name here, right? The locator name is a class name, but in HTML, that is a class attribute. Okay, that's a class attribute. Please uh, don't confuse that. So next, find element will identify a single element. Okay, remember that. Find element will identify the first web element in the web page based on the given locator. So this, whatever the locator you are giving, based on that locator, it will go identify that element in the web page. And it returns a web element type. Next to find elements method. So by dot locator locator value, it finds all the web elements in a current page based on the given locator and stores in a list type collection. Morning one, get window handles returns a set collection but all methods doesn't return same don't you know think that always returns a set no every method is unique so now find elements returns a list collection list of web elements see that list of web element collection name equal to driver dot find elements by dot locator locator well that means in this browser it is finding all the elements based on this locator value and stores them in this collection that means many elements it is fetching and storing here in this collection the collection data type is a web element type list web element type so it's a list of elements, not one, not single. So that's the difference between find element and find elements. Another major interview question, this one. What is the difference between find element and find elements? Easy, right? You can easily answer this. See, the just a plural. If you know that singular and plural, and we can easily answer. Even you don't need to read that also. But just you should know the syntaxes. And another thing, a scenario, real scenario, a generic scenario I'm giving here. Okay, in a particular element, I want to get all childs. All childs means where? See now, this drop down you can see. These are all child. So these are all child elements. So the parent here is the drop down. A parent here is a drop down. Drop down inside, you have a child element. To get all these child elements, you have to use this concept, whatever I'm explaining now. Same concept you have to use here. That these two steps you have to write to get all that drop down options into a list, list collection. So what is the first step? First, identify this root element. That is this drop-down element. That's the first step. 
how to identify a single element. This is the syntax. You have to by heart this syntax. Web element, element name equal to driver dot find element by dot locator locator. If you know function syntaxes, method syntaxes, it's going to be very easy for you. See that object reference dot find element method. Method is having a pair of round brackets, right? Find element round bracket, started round bracket. Again, you have to pass the locator. The locator is ID, name, class name, expal, CSS selector, link text, partial link text, tag name. How can you pass them? How can you call them? Because that's a static methods in the by class. That's why class name dot the locator value, name and locator value. So this is again, this is again method. That's why we again round bracket. This all, everything Java. Every line you will see Java concept, methods. I told you highest used topic came from Java is methods. You should be master in methods only. Then your life is going to be very easy in automation. Okay, now, okay, you identified the parent element. From this parent element, see that, uh, don't confuse. Here I use a driver. Here, what I'm using here? Parent element dot find elements. But here, driver dot find elements. Then what is the difference? This is the way you need to catch these things. Driver means entire page. Driver means, remember, entire page reference. But here, you want from this element, the child elements. So that's the element dot find elements. Find elements you can use. Entire page inside, you can get all the elements. Or from particular parent element inside, you can fetch all the child elements. So that's a find elements method can be used in two ways. One is at the browser level. One is at the element level. Okay, so always anywhere find elements return type is always list web element only. Always, never going to change. That's a, that's how they defined. That's how they declared the method. This find elements method, the return type method they declared. Okay, list web element. Yesterday I have shown you map, right? One of our method returning map string character or character integer, right? The same way this find elements method they defined. This method return type is list web element. Okay, I hope you are clear on this, how to identify the elements. Now I'm going here to write some automation test case for identifying uh, this element, okay? So this element I will identify. So I want to type here. If you want to type, you can use, so let me go to that locators. I'll go here, so these are done. So the, I want to explain the methods Okay, you identified the element, what action you want to do on the element. That's we should know, right? Click action, type action, selecting an option from drop down. All these are action methods. All these are action methods. So here is the one, find locators after web driver, web element methods. Morning, I have explained browser methods. Browser means browser level only you can use those methods. Driver dot get to, driver dot get title, driver dot get current URL, driver dot get window handle, driver dot get window handles, driver dot close, driver dot quit to. These are all browser methods. You see, you are calling on the browser reference. But we are discussing now on the web elements. We entered into the browser. Browser inside you have web elements. The web elements methods, okay? On the web element, what methods you can call? Now I have given previous 
how to identify the element. The find element method is getting the web element. Okay, on that web element, what action you can do? That's what I'm going to explain here. So this is one browser reference, element identification, method name. See, first method is click method. It is used to click on a link, button, checkbox, list box, radio button. Anywhere if you want to perform click action, generally on these elements, you will perform the click action. So for these five elements, see this almost five elements, you are going to use one method that is click method. Whenever you get a link, always you have to use a click method. Whenever you get a button, you have to use click method only. If you have a checkbox, click method only. For checking, unchecking the checkbox, you have to use click method only. Radio button, you want to select, unselect, you have to use click method only. See, all these five elements, a single method. So easy our life here, if you remember this definition of where to use click. What is the syntax? See, first browser reference, then identifying that where you, which element you want to click. That element you identify with a find element by dot locator locator value dot click. So this will give you web element, right? The web element dot click. Otherwise, if you don't want to do direct and you want that element reference one more place also. First identify that element, web element, element name equal to driver dot find element by dot locator locator value. That's the first line. Then this reference you can use below element dot click, element dot send keys. Send keys method is used for typing the data in the edit boxes or text area boxes. Anywhere you want to send the keys, that means data you want to type, then you will use a send keys method. So either this process or this process is fine. Anyone is good. Okay. So next one is submit method. You want to submit the forms, login forms, search forms, anywhere you want to submit, like submitting the button, submitting the forms, you will use a submit method. So another good use case is wherever you have a type equal to submit, Suppose, let me see this button is having a type equal to submit. See, this has a type equal to submit. Then you can use this submit method on that button. If there is a type attribute submit, you can use click method also. But you can use submit method if there is a type equal to submit method for the buttons. Remember this another one use case where you can use a submit method. Next, send keys method. So it is used to type the value in edit box. Only type you can do in the edit boxes only. See one method for edit boxes. See how many elements you got. You got for a link, you got for button, check box, list box, radio button and edit box, you got the methods already. And even for the submitting the forms and buttons, you will use the submit method also. Now, clear method. You want to clear the content in the edit box and you want to type a new value. So on that edit box, you call clear method first. Then you type it again to type, you call send case method. So that is the clear means it is used to clear the content. Driver dot find element by dot locator locator value dot clear method. A select an option from drop down. So how to select an option from drop down? I want to select an option from this drop down. From this drop down. I want to select one of the element from this drop down. Suppose I want to select arts, crafts, and series. Swing. And how can you select this? Or this one, appliances, I want to select. Or I want to select a, so books. How can you select that from the drop down? So this is the code you have to write. So first you identify the drop down. How to identify the drop down? Web element, 
element name equal to driver dot find element by dot locator locator value. That's a first syntax. Then from this drop down, you get all the options. See, there is a tag name option tag. Can you see here? Tag name option tag. Based on this option tag, I'm fetching all these options using find elements method and tag name locator. We have a locator tag name, right? I'm using that locator. See, I have written very clearly, fetch the all drop down options using find elements API and the tag name option tag and the store in list type collection. See, list of web element collection name equal to the first element, the parent element dot drop down because I want drop down options. You give the reference drop down for find elements method. So you are telling in this drop down, find all the elements by tag name option. How many option tags are there in this drop down? All of them you identify and store in this list collection. That's the meaning of this entire line. Then you got the collection. You know how to iterate the collection. Either you can use a for each loop, see for each loop you are using, or iterator you can use. See for, what is the data type of this collection? Web element, whatever is there in the angular bracket, that's a data type. So data type and variable name, colon, collection name. Then you print, you want to print each option text. You call on this web element, a get text method. So any web element text, if you want to get, what is the method you need to use? Get text method. Any element text, if you want, you need to use a get text method. And if O dot get text is equal to what option you want to select. If this option text is equal to, for example, I want to select here books. If I give books here, if I give books here, and books will be in you know, a first, it will be different value, right? First here, so many different values, all these values, check, check, checks, and comes here. And it will iterate, a loop, that is a loop. And loop is going. If it is this text to and whatever you are giving, both are equal, then it, it will click on that option, then break it. You don't need to iterate again further. Entire loop will exit if you write a break. If you don't write a break, it's going to be a costly. And because it will keep moving on all the options. So that's why you have to write a break after your condition is satisfied. So this is how you can select an option from drop down. This is the entire code you need to write. And also I am expecting from you, can you make this entire code? As it is, you can use this code. You have to make a parameterized method. I have so many drop downs, right? How can you make a generic method from this code? You write a parameterized method. So two parameters you have to give. One is, see, you don't need to change here. You don't need to change here. You don't need to change here. You need to change here. This is the one option you need to give. User wants to select which option that you select one parameter. And also this locator. So we don't know which drop down. So this locator will change. These are the only parameters. One is a by locator. Second one is a string option text. Which option you want to select. So replace this entire code with a parameterized method and send me that code for me. Okay, got it? What you need to do? You need to create a reusable generic method here. Out of this, everything code is same. Only need to change this as a, make it this as a parameter and another parameter here. You should not use here this one. You have to use a parameter. String type parameter. What is this, this this data type? This parameter data type? String. What is this parameter data type? By. By parameter name. String parameter name. So you create a two parameterized method here and replace with those parameters and create a generic method. Select option from drop down like that. Okay? So that's the exercise for you. You got it? Are any doubts here?
कर देता हूँ इसे now how to select an option from list box so list box is going to be represented by la tag so there are ul unordered list and then la tag will be there inside unordered list so you want to select one of the list option how can you select again same code above one is for drop down same code but here you need to use tag name li that's it here the drop down uh, option tag is option tag you, i have shown you here right option tag but for uh, list it is not same you can see for list it is different for list it is going to be different la tag see you have la tags ul under la tags are there you want to get all these list of options so this is the code this is the code you have to use again first identify the entire list list you have to identify the list here and driver dot find element by dot locator locator well that list entire list identify with any one locator and then list web element collection name equal to here sorry list box you identify then list box dot find elements by dot tag name li tag you don't need to change here this line you don't need to change only here it will change and then which option you want to select it will change here these are the two dynamically changes parameters okay so these are the locators we we you know the web element methods web element methods now let's go and i'm going to identify the locators one by one and i will perform the action i want to perform here uh the type action so right i want to do that so let's do that and i want to get this text i want to get this text how can you get this text you need to identify that so right this is the class is there so how can you identify this so that that there are a lot of options we'll see that okay first let's identify this i will type okay so to identify that i'll go there same so what i'm going to do here first i'll identify the identify the so email edit box so how to identify web element email edit box see you have to write exact name of that element driver dot see find element so by dot there is id id locator i am using id locator so i am taking id locator see there is id so this is the id take id even name also there i'll show you name locator also later see i first identified the element first what i'm going to do i'll clear the content for example previously any value is there i'm clearing the content see i'm calling all the methods so this is my reference now for email edit box call that email edit box dot clear and i want to type now type the email so email edit box dot send keys method for typing so i'm just giving permission 3 at gmail.com okay so this is the what i'm you see two methods you got already clear method send keys method now i'm going to use next i'm going to click on this login button but I, let me type here something okay let me type here something so i want to use another locator so that is name locator i will use okay name locator let me use a name locator so i, I want to show you all the locators so see i used id now i am using another web element password edit box equal to driver dot find element so by dot name you can see by dot name so you provide the name locator so this is the second locator this is the second locator so password edit box dot clear 
I'm just uh, typing something. If you want, you can type the value dot send keys. So I'll just give some random test one, two, three. Okay. So whatever it is. Anyhow, I'm not giving a correct username, password, it will fail definitely. That's fine. Now I want to identify this login button. See that it has a button tag. And you can see there is a ID, there is a name, there is a type submit. But uh, if I want to use a type submit, I should know XPath. So if you want to know the XPath, and we, we are to understand them, that I'll uh, explain that. Let me use this class. And uh, I don't know whether this class will help or not, because there are spaces and everything. And it doesn't work out. There are compound class values are there. It doesn't work out. So I'll take an ID. So web element, login button equal to, so what is the syntax always? Private dot find element, web element, the find element written type is a web element. And the variable I have given, pi dot ID and ID value. So, so you can click on this login button dot, click so this is what i am doing so i just want to show how to use the methods click method we used send case method clear method we have used right so let's go and uh, run this program okay so let's run this so if you want to see don't don't close this okay if you want to see uh, put some thread dot slip okay so thread dot sleep 3000 milliseconds i'm giving so you just uh, add add exception throws declaration for for observing this one okay that purpose so you can run it and you can see now See, it typed right, and a click is not happened. It happened, it happened, I think it happened. Yeah, it happened, but uh, why we didn't get a message? That's what I'm just surprised. We should get a message also. Wrong credentials, so we should get like this. Invalid username, password. Did we get that? I don't know. We didn't uh, see that. We didn't observe that. Okay. So that's uh, you will get this message because we have given wrong. But it is typing and it is going, it is doing that. So did we use click method, right? Yeah, we use a click method. So let me try with the submit method, okay? Dot submit method. Okay. So let's run this again. See, I called all the click to submit to. See, you got it, right? It happened. So you click happen or submit happened. So I'll comment out this click. Which one is happening, we'll see that. I think submit only it is happening. So here you got some error. See, there is exception. Stale element reference exception. Stale element reference, because you are using same element uh, reference exception. Stale element not found. And you can see what is that element. So line number 50, so here. So because this you used already, again, trying to use one more. That's why it is uh, throwing stale element reference exception. Remember this, what are the different type of exceptions you have encountered? That means they will ask you 
still element reference exception you have to tell one of them so which exception you got what are all the exceptions selenium throws while writing automation code so this is the one of the exception very famous exception the element you already used and it is refreshing and that time again you are submitting that's why it is getting stale element reference exception okay so the element this element is staled here but again you are trying to use that because the page is reloading and again trying to identify this element but still not there in the dom that's why it is throwing stale element reference exception already used element again trying to use but that element is not there in the dom that's a stale element reference exception when you will get okay so this is all about uh, the methods that what we have seen and uh, still let me show you some more uh, locators okay and uh, yeah here it is see if you see here so if you want to identify an element by id so this is the locator web element element name equal to driver dot find element by dot id id value if you want an identify an element by name you have to write web element element name equal to driver dot find element by dot name name value suppose you want there are chances an element might have same name more elements might have same name how can you get all of them so this is the a single answer list web element collection name equal to parent element dot find elements by dot name name value that means in this parent element all child elements are having a name this value based on this you are fetching all the elements so which is having uh, which are having a name value and storing here so suppose entire page the elements are having same name then the syntax is this one list web element collection name equal to driver dot find elements by dot name name value that means in this browser many elements are having a same name that you are fetching and storing in this collection that's a find elements method the class name by class name so you want to identify an element by class attribute so then this is the one web element element name equal to driver dot find element by dot locate by dot class name class value even you can identify so more than one element also if the class is same for multiple elements there are chances multiple elements have the you uh, know all the elements so have same class value so that time you can use so list web element collection name equal to parent element dot find elements by dot class name class value so or you can identify in the entire browser browser reference dot find elements by dot class name class value this class value you can get from html page and then store here in the list web element see always find elements written say list web element so by x path you want to identify an element by x path so this is the one web element element name equal to driver dot find element by dot x path x path value so you want to fetch all the elements based on the x path so this is the one parent element dot find elements by dot x path common x path for all child elements so now you can get all of them and store here in the list type web element or you want to fetch all the elements based on the x path in the browser so then you have to use a driver reference driver dot find elements by dot x path x path value and then store in the list type web element collection even so x path you can use identify a single element multiple elements and uh, in the entire page you can get multiple elements with x path even with the css selector also similar you can identify a single element web element element name equal to driver dot find element by dot css selector css value so web element so linkedin logo equal to driver dot find element by dot css selector and you can give the css and parent element dot find elements by dot css selector css value 
and you can store in the list collection. In the entire page also, you can get all of them and store here. And you can identify a single element with a tag name also. So web element, element name equal to driver dot find element by dot located by dot tag name tag. But we used this tag name for to fetch a group of elements, right? That group of elements we used this parent element dot find elements by dot tag name. We used option tag, we used LA tag to fetch all the elements from child parent element. So this is the one we used already now. And uh, so you can use this one also. So I'll show you in the examples. So fetching all the elements that are having same tag in the entire page. So driver dot find elements by dot tag name tag. So this is the this scenario you can use here. I'm showing here. So how can you fetch all the links in the web page? So this is the one list web element uh, links collection equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name a. That means in this browser, how many a tags are there? All will fetch and stores here. So this is the example, okay? For this, this is the example, real use case. And you can find the size, collection name dot size method you can call. How can you fetch particular section links? First identify your parent element, then that section dot find elements by dot tag name A. So, so in this parent element, all the child links you are fetching and storing in this collection. So you can use that. And even drop down, you can see here, just now I have shown you the same drop down option here. So by link text, by partial link text, if any link, if you want to identify, you can use a link text. So web element, element name equal to driver dot find element by dot link text, exact link name. So web element, forget password link equal to driver dot find element by dot link text, forget password. So I'll let me use this one. We have a already, so in this Facebook, forget password, right? So this one, so I can use that. So let me, so I'm, I'm not using, but I can click on that, okay? So, but get the forget password exactly, okay? So you have to get exactly. So this one, see, close the A tag before, just copy that link name. Exactly, it should be here. Link text means you have to give exact one. Partial link text means you can use it. So now link on the link, I already told you. What action you can do? On the link, you can use which method? You can do a click action. So you can click on that. I can navigate back. So navigate uh, back to previous page. How can you do that? So driver dot navigate method dot back method. So this is the one, let's run this quickly. We have very less time. So it is going to bring back. So it will go to forget password page and it will come back again. So loading. So it went there and came back, but some submission issues. So that's all about uh, the click actions, navigations and all the navigate methods. Also you can use uh, driver.navigate method.